Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, Sudan calls Russia for help. We are December 1, 2018. Scripture reference is out of Ezekiel 38, verse 5, Persia, Ethiopia, and put with them, all of them with shield and helmet. And we finally have some movement on Magog's southern front. Uh, we're going to go back to Genesis 2, verse 13. The name of the second river is the Gihon. It is the one that flowed around the whole of the land of Cush. Now, this is the first mention in the Bible of the land south of Egypt. The Hebrew word is Cush. It is translated as Cush or Ethiopia in the biblical text. It is a land in the Southern Nile River Valley. Well, that leaves only one option. This is modern-day Sudan. And here we have the Nile starting up here in the Mediterranean, working our way south through Egypt into the lower Nile. The headwaters of the Nile start down in here. You can see it starts in Sudan or South Sudan. Pick your, take your pick. It doesn't make any difference. Um, but this is the land the text is talking about. Which brings us to, um, this actually happened last month in the latter part of November 2017. Um, Russian President Vladimir Putin invited Sudan President Omar al-Bashir to Sochi in Russia for a meeting. Sudan is asking for Russian protection against American aggression. The Sudan president is not exactly a choir boy in need of protection. He's wanted by the International Criminal Court for genocide and war crimes. And here's a quote from Sudan's president, Omar al-Bashir. <clears throat> we are thankful to Russia for its position on the international arena, including Russian, Russia's position in the protection of Sudan. We are in need of protection from the aggressive acts of the United States. And again, that is Sudan president Omar al-Bashir. Now, uh, Bashir wants uh, an arms deal with the Russians. And here's another quote from Bashir. We are currently launching a program to modernize our armed forces. And we agreed with the defense minister that Russia will contribute to this. He went on further to say um, that he wants a grain deal. And Russia will sell 1 million tons of grain to Sudan. Sudan is a major buyer of our grain. We expect to increase volume of grain sold to your market up to 1 million tons. And that's Vladimir Putin speaking. So they're looking to sell 1 million tons of grain to the Sudan from Russia. Putin went on to say, Sudan is a major buyer of our grain. We expect to increase the volume of the grain market up to a million tons. Excuse me, I've repeated that. Uh, beyond the grain, there's even more to the story. Prospects are in place, not merely in the hydrocarbons sector, but also in the electric power industry and peaceful nuclear development. And again, that's Russian President Vladimir Putin. So again, we're looking at more nuclear proliferation in the continent of Africa under the guise of, quote, peaceful nuclear development. Now, there are links to articles provided at TASS.com and France24.com. Sudan President Bashir asks Putin protection against aggressive U.S. You know, which brings us back to, um, to the map. Russia has been in ancient Put, or Libya, just to the west of Egypt, since March of 2017. I've got a link provided on an article I provided from back in March. And for those of you not familiar with the narrative, Ezekiel 37 has already happened in the mid-20th century. I would encourage all to read Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39. That appears to be on the verge of happening in the 21st century. And so we'll back this out. Magog's gang, and this is Russia, referred to as Magog. They are now complete and assembled as promised by Ezekiel roughly 2,600 years ago. So from the south, you're going to have the Sudan, and Libya is going to approach Israel from the south. You're going to have Turkey. You're going to have Russia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Iran, and Syria come in through the Golan Heights. 
That's what it says. They're all together for the first time in the in history. Russia's orchestrated this group. And we're just waiting on the military build. And action's picking up. You guys better be paying attention. It's coming. That's what Ezekiel says anyway. Appreciate you guys listening. Take care.